When Luke Skywalker surrendered to Imperial forces on Endor, betting his life on the hope that some form of goodness still existed within his father, he was brought face to face with the Emperor. Palpatine was the reigning Sith Master in Darth Bane's line of Dark Lords, known to a limited few in the galaxy as Darth Sidious. To say that meeting Palpatine was an enormous moment to Luke would be an understatement, as the young Jedi was wrought with confusion and temptation in the face of the Sith. For this video, I'd like to focus on one detail from the novelization that actually pertains to Palpatine's thoughts. Believe it or not, while Luke felt a good amount of fear in the presence of Palpatine, Palpatine was actually afraid of Luke as well. It was Vader that first sensed that his master was afraid of Luke when he reported that a group of rebels had landed on the forest moon. Palpatine was already aware of the rebels' presence, yet while Vader had been able to sense that Luke was among them, Palpatine had not. Vader almost taunted his master, for he knew that Palpatine was afraid of Luke's raw power in the Force. Conflicted but not yet turned, Vader knew that only together could the two of them pull Luke over to the dark side. Palpatine, slightly perplexed at being unable to sense Luke's presence, contemplated on the Force. They both knew that the Force wasn't all-powerful, and no one was infallible with its use. It had everything to do with awareness, with vision. Certainly, Vader and his son were more closely linked than Palpatine was with Luke, but in addition, Palpatine was now aware of a cross-current he hadn't read before, a buckle in the Force that he couldn't quite understand. Wondering if Vader's thoughts on their enemy were clear, Palpatine foresaw that the young Skywalker would surrender to his father, and instructed Vader to bring Luke to him. When Luke and Vader stood before him, Palpatine was able to use his immense power in the Force to view into Luke's mind, learning the secrets of how the young Jedi had been trained over the last few years. Palpatine learned that it had been Yoda who continued Luke's training after the death of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Luke was initially furious with himself for revealing so much through his fractured emotions, losing his concentration and his Jedi resolve in the presence of the Dark Lord. But then, Luke found strength in his faltering, remembering the instruction of both Obi-Wan and Yoda. When you are attacked, fall. Let your opponent's power buffet you as a strong wind topples the grass. In time, he will expend himself and you will still be upright. Luke's resolve rekindled, and he paused, and saw something new in Palpatine through the Force. Genuine fear. It was fear of Luke. Luke realized that Palpatine was afraid of his power, afraid that that power could be turned on him in the same way Vader had turned it on Obi-Wan. Luke saw this fear in Palpatine, and he knew that the odds had shifted slightly. Through the Force, he had achieved a glimpse of Palpatine's truest self. This realization supplied Luke with absolute calm as he faced the Sith Lord. To learn definitively that Palpatine was actually afraid of Luke during Return of the Jedi is fascinating, and just provides so much more depth to the culmination of Luke's arc as a Jedi Knight. Palpatine's fear was obviously warranted, as it was Luke's compassion for his father that led to Vader's redemption and Palpatine's defeat. As the elevator doors opened and Luke stepped into the large throne room, his mind buzzed with what to do. He was being taken to the Emperor. He knew that if he could just keep his mind clear, he could see what must be done and do it. A great noise filled his head, like an underground wind. He hoped that Han and Leia deactivated the deflector shield quickly and destroyed the Death Star while all three of them were on it. Luke would gladly accept his own death if it meant destroying Vader and the Emperor too. The closer Luke came to the Emperor, the more uncertain he became about what would happen, and he feared the dark possibilities of the immediate future. A black storm raged inside him. 
He wanted to kill the Emperor, but then what? Confront Vader again? What would his father do? And what if Luke faced his father first and destroyed him? The thought was simultaneously repugnant and compelling. For the first time, Luke saw a brief, murky image of himself standing over his father's dead body, absorbing his father's power, and sitting at the Emperor's side. He squeezed his eyes shut against the thought, but it left a cold sweat on his brow as if Death's hand had brushed him there and left a shallow imprint. Luke and Vader stood before Palpatine side by side, as father and son, both dressed in black, one masked and the other exposed. As the Emperor welcomed him, Luke stared back at the hooded figure defiantly. Suddenly Luke's shackles fell away, and he thought of how his hands were now free to reach out and crush the Emperor's windpipe in an instant, but he didn't. He was confused as to why the Emperor seemed gentle, and had just let him free. But he knew that Palpatine was also devious and not to be trusted. The Emperor was unarmed. Luke knew that he could still strike. But wasn't aggression part of the dark side? Mustn't he avoid it at all costs? Or could he use the darkness judiciously and then put it away? He stared at his free hands. He could end it all right there. He had total freedom to choose what to do now, yet he could not choose. He could kill Palpatine, or he could succumb to Palpatine's arguments. He could kill Vader, and then he could even become Vader. Again, he pushed that thought into the back corner of his mind. The Emperor sat before him, smiling. The moment was convulsive with possibilities, yet it passed and Luke did nothing. As Palpatine began to speak, Luke remained silent, intent on revealing nothing. At the mention of Obi-Wan's name and his failure to train Anakin Skywalker, Luke tensed with fury, yet he also knew that the Emperor was partly right. He tried to bring his anger under control since it seemed to please the Dark Lord. Palpatine indeed took notice of Luke's emotions and continued to speak of Obi-Wan, this time about his death at Vader's hand, as Luke struggled to regain his composure. The Emperor wanted to know who had continued Luke's training, and he was able to sense that it had been Master Yoda, causing Luke to flush with anger towards himself for revealing so much unwittingly. Luke strove to be calm, to follow Obi-Wan and Yoda's teachings. He filled his mind with a serene nothingness, striving to let the Emperor's words wash over him as he simply remained. Palpatine remarked that Yoda must have taught Luke to wield the Force with great skill, and in that moment the young Jedi sensed something, something he hadn't noticed before in the Emperor. Fear. It was fear of Luke himself, fear that his power could be turned against the Emperor. Luke saw this fear inside Palpatine and felt that the odds had shifted slightly, and with sudden absolute calm, Luke stood upright. He remained calm until a few moments later, as the Emperor forced him to watch the rebel fleet walk into an ambush. Luke's eyes darted from Palpatine to Vader and finally to his lightsaber. His mind quivered with alternatives as suddenly everything was out of control again. He could count on nothing but himself, and on himself his hold was tenuous. The situation was degenerating fast from Luke's perspective. Defeat after defeat was being piled on his head. How much could he take? There seemed to be no end to the deeds Palpatine could carry out against the galaxy. Slowly, Luke raised his hand in the direction of his lightsaber. As the Emperor continued to mock the rebel fleet, Luke was in torment, raising his hand further. He realized that both Palpatine and Vader were watching him. He lowered his hand lowered his level of anger, trying to restore his previous calm and see what he needed to do. As the Emperor goaded him, insisting that Luke strike him down and give in to his anger, Luke tried to hide his agony, thinking of Obi-Wan and Yoda. He wondered if, since both of his masters were now part of the Force, they could somehow distort Palpatine's vision with their presence. 
Luke thought that if there was ever a moment he needed Obi-Wan's guidance, it was now, and he had never felt so lost. Luke watched in horror as the laser beam of the Death Star vaporized one of the Rebel Star Cruisers. In the numbing grip of despair, with the hollowest of voids devouring his heart, Luke's eyes again drifted to his lightsaber. In that moment, the dark side was with him. He continued his spiral into desperation as the Death Star laser continued its assault on the Rebel fleet. Luke's face contorted along with his spirit as Vader and the Emperor watched him closely, and his lightsaber began to tremble on its resting place. As Palpatine laughed and again instructed him to strike him down, Luke could resist the darkness no longer. His lightsaber rattled violently and flew into his hand, impelled by the Force. He ignited it and swung it with his full weight downward at the Emperor's skull. In that same instant, Vader's blade flashed into view, parrying Luke's attack. The Emperor watched, the sole audience to the dire contest as Luke and Vader faced each other. Luke attacked aggressively, actually managing to send Vader tumbling down the stairs. As he stood over his father, Luke knew that the duel was in his hands now. He could kill Vader. He could even take Vader's place at the Emperor's side. Luke didn't bury the thought this time, he gloried in it. He engorged himself with its juices, felt its power tingle his cheeks. It made him feverish, this thought, with lust so overpowering as to totally obliterate all other considerations. He had the power and the choice was his. And then another thought slowly emerged. He could destroy the Emperor too. Destroy them both and rule the galaxy avenge and conquer. It was a profound moment for Luke, dizzying, yet he did not recoil from it. As the Emperor encouraged him, Luke faltered, realizing what was happening. He was confused again, wondering what he wanted and what he should do. His brief moment of dark clarity was now gone in a wash of indecision. He took a step back and tried to drive the hatred from his being. Vader attacked, but Luke disengaged and retreated to the safety of an overhead walkway, insisting that he would not fight. Though Vader denied any internal conflict, Luke could feel it. He realized that Vader had had the opportunity to kill him twice before, over the first Death Star and later on Bespin, yet he had not. Luke knew that there was still good in his father. Vader threw his saber, slicing the supports and sending Luke tumbling to the lower level beneath the main platform. As Luke hid within the shadows, he knew that this might be his end. If it was, so be it. He would not use darkness to fight darkness. Perhaps the fight of the Jedi and the Rebellion would be left to Leia, to carry on without him. Perhaps she would know a way that he didn't know. Perhaps she could find a path. For now, Luke could only see two paths, one was into darkness and one was not. As Vader prowled nearby, he sensed Luke's thoughts, causing the young Jedi to try and hide his feelings. Luke could feel Leia's pain as she was wounded down on the surface of Endor, and he could not hide that shared feeling from his mind, as Vader's consciousness invaded that private bond. With the revelation that Luke had a sister, Vader declared that he would turn Leia to the dark side if Luke refused. That was Luke's breaking point, for Leia was everyone's last hope. Luke screamed, rushing at his father with a fury he'd never known before. In a frenzy, he battled Vader fiercely, and it was evident that the advantage was all his. Luke pushed Vader back, forcing the Dark Lord to retreat onto the bridge above the power core. Finally, with a brutal blow, he severed Vader's right hand at the wrist. Luke stared at his father's broken mechanical hand, and then at his own gloved hand, and realized suddenly just how much he'd become like his father, like the man he hated. Trembling, he stood above Vader, and he wanted to destroy this being of darkness, this thing that was once his father, that was once him. 
Suddenly, the emperor was near, encouraging Luke to finish it. Luke stared at his father again, and he realized that it was the darkness that he hated. Not his father, not even the emperor, but the darkness inside of them. In them, and in himself. And the only way to destroy darkness was to renounce it, for good and all. Luke stood suddenly, and made the decision for which he'd spent his life in preparation. He hurled his lightsaber away, declaring that he would never turn to the dark side, that he was a Jedi, like his father before him. This is one of my favorite moments in all of Star Wars because you guys know that Luke is my favorite character. This is the moment that he became a Jedi, and the novelization does an amazing job of explaining his thoughts as he went back and forth between the light and dark sides. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and may the Force be with you.